Great. My name is Alon Tao. I'm the chairman of the Department of Public Policy here at Tel Aviv University. I'm your ostensible host, and I welcome all of you to this very important gathering. Um, first of, the kind, of its kind that we've hosted here and that I've been involved in, although we were fortunate enough to host uh, Professor Davis here a few years ago to talk to us about these, these critical issues. Um, I want to thank Paul, who will welcome you in a more detailed sense and less institutional formal sense uh, for, uh, for including us and in, in engaging us in this, in this gathering. Uh, yesterday, I was visiting in Petah Tikva in Israel a company which makes fuel cells, the largest fuel cell producer in Israel, and uh, Jenny Cell, and they were um, telling us about their follow-up from Hurricane Sandy and other extreme weather events. And what they found out from the public there was when people are um, overwhelmed and systems collapse in the wake of extreme weather and hurricanes and the like, people would like to have water, they would like to have food, but the number one concern they have about their future and what they really want to be certain they can have in, in times of disaster is a cell phone that is working. And the greatest fear they have is when they look on their screen and it's down to 2%, 1%, and they know they're losing their connection with the outside world, to the news, to their loved ones and everyone else. I found that to be particularly telling of our time, how cell phones have totally transformed priorities and culture in our world. Um, I can tell you that as a father, when I had friends visit me from abroad, I have three daughters, and Every Friday night in our little town of Maccabeem, after dinner, they would go out to parties at 11 o'clock on Friday night and come back at 3 and 4 in the morning. And my friends always said, how can you sleep so well at night? And I said, well, they have cell phones. Why, why should I be worried? If anything happens, they can call me. Um, <laughs> recently, that my youngest daughter is now a combat soldier, and she's uh, working in the Bardalas unit, one of the female um, uh, teams that was working in the West Bank, and one of her first um, combat missions was to go to a suspected terrorist house where they, uh, it was a very uh, trying emotional thing for her, but they had to go and find a cell phone, which after two hours of digging and, and ferreting, they managed to find and discovered the WhatsApp messages that managed to prevent a, a terrorist attack and saved lives. So cell phones are everywhere, and um, the question is, are we doing what we need to do as a society to regulate them in a way that ensures our safety? Are we doing this in a way which enables cell phones to provide maximum benefits but to provide minimum costs to our health and to our psychology? Because surely we all know just how um, this has, in some cases, warped human communication and changed the way people interact. So these are some of the critical questions which I think about and we feel so very lucky to have such an esteemed group either broadcasting in or meeting with us today. And uh, I welcome you all, and any way we can help you in your collective and individual endeavors, we were happy to do so. So from Tel Aviv University, Bochim Habaim. Paul, over to you. Uh, thank you very much, Alon, for the, uh, for the introduction. Um, this meeting is in some ways a follow-on to an earlier meeting we had in 2017. I think we have Deborah behind me already, our first speaker. Um, and it, it is important because this topic, as Alon so rightly pointed out, has become not just an integral part of our society, but in some ways an integral part of our makeup as human beings, the way we interact with each other. Yet there is an element of impact on us which has to be assessed. Um, science nowadays is, is very, very compartmentalized which is a problem because as we can see in the makeup of this meeting, to address the problem of cell phones, or rather the impact of cell phones, because it's wrong to call it a problem as such, we have to be interdisciplinary. We have to understand both what policy means, what regulation means, what science means, and how they should interact with each other, which is one of the themes of this conference, and I want to thank you all for being here for that. Um, without too much further, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker for today, uh, Dr. Deborah Davis, um, visiting professor of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, 
also the head of the Environmental Health Trust, uh, which is the non-governmental organization in the USA which has managed to collate a lot of the science that is out there and also dispute some of the science which should be disputed, which is out there too. So without further ado, I will allow her to open the conference for us. Thank you. Deborah, the floor is yours. Okay.